Hi, I'm Steve from 2Cat Media and welcome to another video. In fact, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. Now, I'm at a place called Baggeridge today. It's got some nice open fields. Hopefully, it'll be okay to fly the drone. It does say on the UVA app uh, uh, not to fly the drone. It's got some strong gusts of around 20 odd miles an hour. But, well, you know, whatever. So today I'm going to be flying the Holy Stone 720E drone, who I have now called Vader, uh, primarily because he's got a mind of his own, and also because it tries to control the situation and the flight path at times, which is very, very naughty. So I'm not going to be using the Affiliate Go app today, because as you know, there's quite a few issues with the app of it crashing, etc. So I'm just going to try and use the MRC Pro app, which is the alternative app, uh, made by the same uh, developer as the Affiliate Go app. Uh, but we're going to try it out, we're going to fly it and just see how the MRC Pro app works. Um, it's just like the old Affiliate Go app, so there's nothing major to look at. And just see if this works okay uh, in general, see if it's a bit more, gives you a bit more confidence to fly the app. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to do a full calibration prior and then uh, I'll show you on the screen what exactly we're going to do. Okay, so first of all, I connect to the Holy Stone Wi-Fi network. And then I complete a full calibration off screen. So I'm just going to skip ahead for the sake of waiting around. I then we set the return to home altitude to the maximum of 50 meters. So finally, I accept the settings and save those settings and then take off. Now this is battery number one. So I do just a few little scenes here just to show you. Now it is supposed to be around 20 mile an hour gusts uh, of wind, but it didn't seem like it was. In fairness, I'd say there's no more than 12 mile an hour gusts and around eight to 10 miles an hour maximum wind speed at times but you know it did kind of it found it very difficult if I'm honest um, initially now I don't know if it was the app if it was the drone or it was the wind it kept on tilting to one side as you will see so here I'm just going to go down to the end of this field and I think to myself you know what I'm going to try and do a little bit of a, a range test just to find out just how good it will do uh, with this new app and also uh, to check out the connection as well and also t test return to home. At around this point I believe I lost uh, live feed, the FPV. But I carry on with my fingers crossed that my drown will do what it always has done and returns home when it loses the other signal. Now, I was not aware of this housing estate, in fairness, because I couldn't see it from where I was, uh, because it was just over a slight bit of a hill. Now, luckily, it stops at around 450 to 460 metres, and then returns home. Now, here we skip back home, and I choose a different direction, and just have a little play, trying out and testing the wind, and just testing the drone out itself. I've got to say, I'm not 100% happy with the drone at this point, but... I wanted to make some footage for you guys just to show you the good and the bad. Uh, so yeah, you be the judge. You you take this footage as you need to.
So this is going to be my final flight of battery two. I'm down to about uh, three bars and I think to myself, well, I'm probably not going to last that far anyway. So I decided to do a bit of a range test as well as a return to home accuracy test. As you can see throughout some of these clips, and including this trip as well, the it's not the smoothest of drowns, especially at the moment. I'm using the MRC Pro app, which is supposed to be a better app than the, the new updated one, uh, considering some of the errors that it has. And I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if this is down to the app, down to me in the a bit of a, a windy environment, or just down to the drone itself. But I carry on and I lose feed around the 400 to 450 meter mark on the live feed and I just carry on. You can see that the drone is actually quite struggling with the wind or at least it appears that way i don't know if it's the wind or if it's indeed just the drone itself i don't believe it's the app i did calibrate it properly i calibrated it about three times throughout this uh this last couple of hours of flying in fairness just to try and be as fair as possible here i'm going to fly over the golf range as well i expected any time around now to start kicking me out as it has done for the last hour of flying in total uh, but it just keeps on going so now we reach towards the end of the run now just before this road more or less literally on the road I believe and you'll see from the screenshot from Google Maps exactly roughly how far I traveled and here we go here we stop here and then we start to return to home automatically so you'll see on the screenshot when it comes up that it should be 1130 meters I believe 1,120 meters. We'll say for the element of fairness, 1,100 meters. And that's a good 90 meters above and beyond my record with the Holy Stone. So I was quite pleased with that. So I returned to home at a slightly dodgy angle. So let's just skip back to where I'm a bit more close to home and just see roughly how accurate the return to home is. Hopefully you're enjoying this video and you've enjoyed looking at some of the scenery at the very least. I know some of the colours seem a little bit washed out, so I'm trying not to do any kind of colour editing to this Holy Stone at the moment. I want you to kind of see what you get for your money as standard. But yeah, if you're enjoying the content in general, just give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to leave any comments below or any of your experiences, then put them in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, then why not become part of the exclusive, yet elusive, community that is 2Cat Media. So as you can see, it comes down a bit like a rocket, uh, but not at a particularly great speed. 
it's uh, it's great. It's on target. It lands roughly, as you'll see in a moment, within like half a meter to a meter of the actual suitcase, or the, the, the carry case rather, from where it started off. So I'm quite impressed with that. So anyway, I hope to see you on the next video. See you soon. Keep safe. Drone on.